How are you doing? How are you doing? Out here in the wilderness, we have come across a stone-like structure. Let's now imagine Dave Rattenborough walks. That's secretly been my mission the whole day. Good day and welcome back to another episode of Sailing Merryweather. Hmm, glad to have you here. What are we doing today? Today we're exploring St. George. St. George, uh, the main capital of Grenada. Hmm. So we've got no idea what we're going to do today, do we? We can see it from here and it looks quite nice. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of buildings. Looks like it has some history, which I really enjoy. Yep. Some cathedrals and some forts. Yep. Um, yep. It's been... Yep. <laughs> Uh, it's been a lovely anchorage here. We've been here two nights now, but we haven't really checked out the town yet, so that is our mission for today. Mm. I'm excited. I'm excited. Alright. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to exploring a new town and seeing what they have. Yeah, me too. Mm. Me too. It's extremely hot. So, so hot. It's like, what, 36 degrees right now? A thousand degrees. A thousand. Not 36. Which is 36 to, you know, an average person who's not Kieran Morris. But, yeah. Alright. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. How are you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? For any of you who don't know how we exit our vessel every day, or every time we leave it, Isabel's going to demonstrate it now, aren't you, Isabel? You can't see you at all. You're like black. There you are. Step number one, sunglasses. Step number two, these. We always need our masks. Now, we had two of these, but Mr. K, somehow. Mr. K? Replaces here. Okay. Just call me Mr. K. Now, I can demonstrate how we lock our home. It's very exciting stuff. Hatch. Twist like so. Fort Knox now, baby. And there we go. Fort Knox. Wow. Killing it. Beautiful harbour in here, yeah. with the town that surrounds it. Lovely. St George is the capital of Grenada, with a population of 33,000. St George was founded by the French in 1650. Originally the island of Grenada, was known as Le Grande. What is it? Some monument built by an Italian liner, oh. which shows grateful remembrance to the Grenadian people. It in a fire in 1961. Thank you for that. You're most welcome. The governor of Martinique began colonization and exterminated the existing Carib population. 
The island was ceded to Great Britain in 1763 due to the Treaty of Paris. The island was renamed Grenada and the main town St George. Grenada acquired independence from Great Britain in 1974. After a successful far leftist coup in 1983, the US invaded and restored a democracy to which the island still stands today. Oh, I didn't see you there. Out here in the wilderness, we have come across a stone-like structure developed by a homo sapien that decided to jump down from the tree and walk on his two feet. This structure was built in a long, long time ago. Come as we discover the stone structure. With no idea about these surroundings, we've taken a wrong turn. The chances of success are slim to none getting in to the stone structure. We shall go around. Are you breaking into the fort? This is how I imagine. <laughs> this is how I imagine Dave Rattenborough walks. <laughs> we have reached the entrance of the stone structure built by the the monkeys down from the tree. <laughs> but we're not going to go inside. Stop this place. It cost a couple of dollars to go in. And we're too cheap, let's be honest. We're pretty tight with our money. Too cheap. <laughs> cheap bastards we are. Fort George, built in 1705 by the French. Its glory days through the 17 and 1800s are far behind it. Due to hurricane damage and neglect, the fort has been seen a lot better days. It's mostly used by the police today, and we decided to give it a miss. Do you see what I see? House of chocolate! That's secretly been my mission the whole day. To get to the chocolate house. Grenada is most known for its spices. Every year, nutmeg, mace, cinnamon, clove, and sugarcane are all grown and exported from this little Caribbean island. Grenada is also known for its chocolate. The Grenada Chocolate Company claimed to be the first tree-to-bar company in the world. The chocolate factory takes the cocoa beans grown right on their own doorstep and with them produce high quality organic dark chocolate. How have you enjoyed your day? It's been very good. Yeah? Right now I'm a bit exhausted but... We kind of came out in the middle of the day didn't we when it was really yeah. really warm. Yeah. But it's been very nice to see. It has um, some very nice buildings, some historical buildings. We saw a bit of the fort and I really enjoy the cacao house or the house of chocolate. I really enjoy that. Otherwise it's been very nice colourful buildings and friendly people. A lot of fish smell. Uh, no, I enjoyed it.
The chances of success. Isabel's gonna demonstrate it now, aren't you, Dim Isabel? Idim Isabel. Idim Isabel. Idim Isabel. Idim Isabel. Not 36. Which is 36. 36. So. <laughs> 36.